Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 PSN review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix, which if you've never played it before, it's a fighter beat em up, it's the re-release of the, well, of Super Street Fighter 2 really, well, 2 Turbo, and it's got some new stuff to it, it's also got all the old stuff, so if you just want the old stuff, then brilliant. Just a shame that it's £12 on the PSN and it's a lot cheaper on the American one and on the Xbox Live Arcade, but still it's a lot better than the Wii version, because it doesn't exist. Sorry. Uh, Anyway, helping options you got about the game, you got controls, obviously a very important thing, you got settings, you got credits. So, usual stuff. You've then got the single player, which you go through there, you get an ending sequence, yada yada. You get multiplayer, you get local match, you can go on online, you can go on online tournaments and that, and tournament matches, just crap like that, basically. So, anyway, I'll start off with HD Remix, but I might as well show some of the classic arcade, just in case you're unfamiliar with it. All you have to do, though, and the only flaw with uh, going into this, is you have to have your brother push the X button. But here we go, 16 fighters, they look fantastic, the HD update of this just is absolutely amazing. And for the hell of it, let's go on random, and oh my god, I am so sorry Panda. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with this, basically Vega doesn't have any moves at all, that means I can just, if I wanted to, sit and do that with the fireballs. But anyway, I still love Vega, I think the game's brilliant, as you can see it looks amazing here. I like some of the new music tracks on it, because that's one of the things they've done, they've changed the music. Some of the music tracks though, they sound a bit dodgy, like for example, Vegas stage, which just sounds terrible now. But, speaking of music, I'm going to shut up, let you have a little listen, while I pummel the crap out of your brother. So there we go then, that was a little bit of fighting, and there was some of the aforementioned horrible Vega music. Um, some of the characters have new moves, some of them don't have any new moves at all. Some of them, like Zangief over there, just basically has new ways of doing moves. Pretty much everyone hated the ability to, uh, well, the way that you've done the super power drive and all that, it was obviously spinning around in 360 degrees and then pushing the punch button, so they've changed that. Personally, I actually quite like doing that because it was a sign of skill, seeing that you really could do it. But anyway, just going to cut into the older version now. One of the cool things you can do with the old version is, you can either choose to have the SNES version, which basically Super Street Fighter 2, it came out in the SNES now, it was obviously in the arcade zone, or you can have Super Turbo, so you can choose between both old versions, which all that mainly does is swaps back, changes the balance a bit, and changes how you do the moves, and gets rid of the new moves, and just things like that. One of the best things about the old mode though is, you can choose to have the new graphics on the old gameplay, so if, if that's all you wanted it for, it's just an absolutely fantastic thing that you can do, because it gives you a choice, because I've never had Street Fighter looking this good, and I've got to see it, I'm loving it. There we go then. There's pretty much nothing left to say. There's the odd thing though. Akuma is on the game. You don't have to worry about it. It's just he's a bit of a pain to get, unfortunately. And uh, there's also a few control problems with this. I uh, personally think it needs an update. For one, I must apologise. He was pushing X and I've since done it myself as player 2. It takes about six times to register it. And it never seems to save player 2's controls, which is partially why I've been beating the crap out of him. It can save the controls, but at the moment it just hasn't, so nothing's the way that it should be for him. But uh, while there are a few minuses about the games, there's definitely a lot of positives, and it still is a pretty damn good game, and if you love Street Fighter, then it's well worth it. But if you only want one of them for now, then probably just go for Street Fighter 4, because it's not all that more expensive, and it's a much newer game, obviously. So there we go then. That's been the review. I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion, so instead, I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid, or that hasn't been answered in the comments, then feel free to ask, and I'll help if I can. Also, if you did find it helpful, don't forget to check out my channel, because there's plenty more like this up there, and don't forget to subscribe, because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.